You can't hack creativity. There's no quick fix to honing a film or a song or a, a novel that actually has real value to yourself and to others. There's this idea that we can hack everything, how to hack becoming famous. Yes, you could become Instagram fabulous, and if you are brilliant, well done. But actually, the creative stuff, it takes time. You need to hone your skills. Even if you have the most amazing idea for, say, a song or a film script, you still have to sit there and do the work to get it onto the paper or onto the stage and hone your skills as you go. So my name's Marisha Trembetska for my Love Your Creativity and Make Money podcast. And, and that's this week's thought, actually. Accept, yeah, accepting the fact that you can't hack a creative life. You might be able to have one brilliant idea that flies, but then you've got to come up with the next and the next. And we all know that this some people so often just see the oh you know released the first novel and it just stormed it and it was in the bestseller list we all know the work that's gone behind editing finding an editor writing it making the adjustments you know dealing with the facts there's some real problems going on with chapter 10 or whatever so i this is a call out for all of us including myself to basically just settle down no i can't hack it I know enough. I've made enough shows over the last, what, 20 years of being, of making my own work, be it writing, you know, writing songs, writing books, writing shows. I've made web series and films. I've made a documentary. Um, you know, just settle down. Know it's a process. You're not always going to want to turn up for your life and your work every day. That's just natural. But every day, choose yourself. So every day, take a step forward in terms of honing your craft and every day, take a step forward in building a better creative career, be it networking, going to something, seeing some work, educating yourself. Yes, posting on Instagram. But it is this, just, there's no hack here. There's no hack to having a full creative life. Sure, people might love you for doing a particular show. Barry Humphreys, the creator behind Dame Edna, um, I've got a friend of mine who's followed him for literally decades, and he said... Dave Medner's probably the 27th character that Barry Humphreys came up with, and that's the one everybody wants. And he always introduces new characters, and then he does these shows, and he introduces the new character at the beginning of the run, but by the time he's finished the tour, there's more Dave Edner in still, and the new characters get faded down because everyone loves Dave Edner so much. But that doesn't stop Barry Humphreys from keep on performing and creating. Absolutely not. So, And he, whatever he does, he gets better at it. I could have made the Queen show and the, oh, the, such hard work without the thousands of hours of me being the singing psyche improviser. I now am a great cabaret artist. I can say that just because I've had the th- tens of thousands of hours on stage across the world in lots of different environments, improvising, working a room, understanding my singing now versus 20 years ago. Better, right? How can it not be? <laughs> well, unless I never practiced. So... And we don't always see the incremental growth. So you can't hack creativity or you can't hack creative, a creative life is probably a better way of putting it. So have a great week. My name's Marisha Trembetska for my Love Your Creativity and Make Money podcast. You can contact me on at Marisha T on Instagram and Twitter and Marisha Trembetska on Facebook. My acting agent, Dulcie Houston at CCA Management in London. So if you want to book me for an actor and if you want to book Singing Psychic Queen of the World, in the fucking world uh, or me talking about creativity then of course um have at it <laughs> get get through to either myself or one of uh yeah one of my team on that so be well have a great week <laughs>